Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. I'm at Aldi right now and I only have $60 this week to spend on groceries. I had $10 left over from last week to add to the 50, so this is my fill-in week. I'm gonna go through and I've got my list and guess what? I also have my calculator. It's a broken calculator. It's quite old, but it works well. I like using this better than my cell phone and it's easier to use. So I am going to add everything up so I make sure I don't go over budget. My goal is to be $60 or under after tax. So let's see if I can do it. Okay, I'm buying one package of these at $1.19. These are great to take on demos. My husband many times stays with me at my demo so we're not doing as much driving. So I pack this for him. This is one thing I will not be buying because I bought two packages last week because remember, I'm doing my main shopping every two weeks. That was two packages and it was supposed to last two weeks. Well, I put them in a container and to be totally honest with you, they are gone. I didn't eat one of them. That means I'm not buying them this week so the family will go without cookies. I think we can survive. Buying one snack for my daughter, check mix, 249 she likes the cheese one bread's a dollar 25 i'm getting one of these and guess what some good news eggs are down a little bit they're 423 right now they were close to five dollars so they are coming down i'm just getting one okay i'm getting al some skim milk this is what he uses a dollar 73 i always like to keep sour cream in the house these are a dollar 89 i'm also getting cottage cheese i'm getting two of them 249 each one little way to save money, instead of buying bacon, which is expensive, and if you want a little bacon flavor, just buy one of these, it's real bacon, just buy one of these bacon bits. It's $1.69, and it adds flavor without the high price. I'm just getting one. I am getting strawberry preserves for $2.19. It is for a recipe. Hello, one Hi there, I am also getting these delicious tuna packs. I'm gonna probably get about four because these are a wonderful little meal, only 80 calories. Okay, these I'm also getting saltines. They're $1.29. By the way, guys, it's super quiet in here because everybody's at home watching the Super Bowl. I'm like, what Super Bowl? Oh, I didn't even know it was on. <laughs> Anyway, it shows you that I don't watch sports. But this is a good deal, $1.29 for these. And we always like to have saltines in the house. I'm getting some peppermints. I'm not sure how much they are. I'll just add $2 just in case. I don't think it's that much though. But so far after the mints, I'm at $25.23. These are the kinds of things that I need to stay away from. Things like Oreo oyster, oysters, Oreo cakesters, even if these were the healthiest things. Let's pretend for a moment that these are nutritious with whole grains and they're packed with protein and vitamins. We'll just pretend that for two seconds. Still, they're 409. These are the kinds of things that can add up. And like things like RX bars, 722. No wonder people's grocery budgets are so high if we're buying all this stuff. Anyway, just wanted to point that out. These will not be going into my basket. This is something I'm eating almost every day, unless I'm doing a double demo and I don't get a chance to. I love these steamed cauliflower fender. I can't even speak today, guys. Excuse me. Steamed California medley vegetables. 99 cents. They used to be 88, but gosh, you can't go wrong. Really nutritious, delicious. They taste super sweet. I don't even add anything to them. So I am going to pick me up one of these. I have a bunch at home, but I did eat a bunch last week, so I am going to get one of these. I'm getting a couple of these ground beef. I like to keep these in the house. They're $3.79, not a bad price. And I can make chili and things, and that can be stretched out over to three or four days. So it's perfect. So I always keep these. I'm going to pick up two. Okay, I'm picking up some of this salami. It's $3.49. It's actually one thing that's gone down in price. Hey, it's cheaper than that uh, other salami wrapped in cheese. So I'm getting this for the week, and I'll add $3.49 to my budget. I'm going to get one package of triple cheddar cheese. Remember, I graduated University of Wisconsin, River Falls, and so I grew up eating lots of cheese, but this will be good for some of the recipes I have planned. I'm going to get one package, and it's $2.99. 
I'm going to get four of these for my demo. I love these. They're 55 cents. They're a dollar everywhere else. And so I'm going to definitely get four of these for my demo. Okay, I definitely need a couple of these for my demos. Remember, I pack all my food, so I'm gonna get the turkey bites. I'm gonna get two of these, and I will carry these and put these to my demo. They're perfect for portion control. I'm getting some full fat whipping cream for $4.69. I use it for all sorts of recipes and it lasts forever. So I'm getting close to my $60, guys. Okay guys, I'm almost out of here. I'm at 55.74 and I decided I'm gonna treat myself to something. I allow myself one lower carb treat a week and I'm gonna get, and I'll show you, I'm gonna get one of these. I'm gonna get keto ice cream. I'm not sure what flavor, they're $3.99 and I'm gonna let you know after I am done how much I've spent. Okay guys, this is the entire grocery haul. I actually had to put away the tuna packets. We've got tuna at home because it made me go over my budget. I'm still 81 cents over. It was $60.81. I must have added something wrong. But you know what? This is what it bought. The big things that cost the money were the eggs and the half and half and of course my delicious keto ice cream and the meat. You know, I don't feel bad about it though. I'm not about perfection guys. I'm about improvement. I'm not here to compare my grocery budget with anyone else's, whether it's folks that are watching me on YouTube, my next door neighbors, the cat down the street, doesn't matter who. I'm all about small improvements of things that I can do to get better each and every month. And I feel like I'm doing really well. Hey, to slash $100 off my grocery month in a month is good for me. So I'm feeling pretty good about it. and. The good thing is, is I'm only 81 cents over. I will take that off my next week's two week budget of 150, so I'll have 149. So I have one thing left to say. Please make sure not to compare yourself to other people. There's some people that have high grocery budgets, some that have low, and that's okay. Each and every one of us are different. We live in different parts of the world. And you know what? We don't need to compare our journey to other people's. Just let us keep doing better each and every day in all areas of our life. And that's what I'm going to leave you with today. That's all I have to say for now. I love you. I appreciate you. And I hope to see you on tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye.